Hi, Ray here. It's great to see you. Today, Nikon released firmware updates for the Z series cameras. And I'm here to offer my crow eating retraction <laughs> when I said in my recent video celebrating my second anniversary with the Nikon Z6 that I doubted that there would be any more updates for the first generation cameras since the Z2s arrived on the scene. But here we are today with not just updates for the newer mirrorless cameras from Nikon, but also improvements for those of us with the first generation Z cameras. So I'm happy to stand corrected. <laughs> As Nikon announced a week or so ago, firmware version 1.20 for the Z7 II and Z6 II will offer increased autofocus performance, including faster focusing when shooting autofocus in low light situations. Further, autofocus usability when using an external speed light will also increase through improvements to detection performance in scenes where it was difficult to detect faces and eyes, as well as improvements to subject visibility during live view shooting. In addition, tracking frames used for face and eye detection, as well as subject tracking autofocus, have been improved, enabling smoother and more stable shooting. So I'm guessing you'll see some changes to that uh, little yellow box that um, you see with tracking. Additionally, the Z6 and Z7 get firmware version 3.30 and Z50 owners will get version 2.10 which will add the save focus position option that shows the current focus position to be saved when the camera is turned off and restored when next turned on. Now that is excellent since it corrects one of the most irritating experiences with the cameras to date, having to regain focus every time you turn the camera off and back on, say to save battery life. And new firmware for the Z6 will also add the voice memo recording play function popular with the D6. I really welcome that feature. As far back as my Fujifilm S2, my first digital DSLR bought in 2003, it saves time and pencil lead, and it comes in very handy in situations like this. This man's name is Tishun. For some reason unclear to me, Z6 II owners will have to wait for a future firmware update for addition of the voice memo recording play function. No mention of the function for the Z7 and Z7 II. Is it something to do with the, the larger sensor? I really haven't a clue. Further, Firmware version 1.10 for the Z5 will include faster autofocus detection speed during low light situations when shooting in the low light autofocus mode, thereby improving usability. The Z5 will also gain the save focus position option. As far as my relationship with the Z cameras, I'm a bigamist <laughs> with a harem of two Z6 cameras. Now, I didn't take advantage of the last three updates for one of these cameras, uh, 3.1011 and 12, 10, 11, and 12, since they didn't really impact my use. I don't own the 50 millimeter 1.2, and I don't use this one with the Ninja 5. And remember, I'm talking about a Z6 here for both of my cameras. So this was uh, with the last big update, uh, 3.0, which brought us big improvements in focus tracking and animal eye detect. I made a video uh, looking at those changes last year, and I'll link it here at the point where it shows how to update firmware on these cameras for those who are looking for that information. Anyway, uh, I've rectified that by updating it, this camera, to the latest version released today, 3.30. Meanwhile, I've left this camera that I use as my Cam 1 for video, often with my video rig and the Atomos Ninja 5, and this is in the small rig cage for the Z cameras. I've left this at 3.12. 3.12. Again, I don't own the 50mm 1.2, and I don't have the factory update that would add ProRes RAW function and Blackmagic RAW support 
that was included in the 3.20 update, <laughs> if you're following all this. Who remembers now, way back to version 2.0 that gave us eye detect for photos. Anyway, let's get out of the office and try out this update, comparing the two versions. Will there be any noticeable change, uh, improved focusing perhaps, um, besides the announced additions? Well, we can hope. I'd be interested to hear from Z62 and Z72 owners. How are you finding the updates? Are you seeing significant improvement in autofocus tracking? Better low light performance? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, here's the camera with the new firmware 3.30. And I don't know how fair this will be, but it's certainly a good test as far as um, low light because it's almost dark out. We can see it doesn't catch the eye until just <laughs> right there. And for comparison, here's the uh, camera with the older firmware update 3.12. Okay, that's it <laughs> because it's dark now. The moon's up. I think it's a... Uh, yeah, it's close to a full moon. Maybe it's a full moon. I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. I've been so busy making videos. From my quick look here, it doesn't look like <laughs> we got any uh, improvements as far as um, autofocus and tracking goes. I didn't expect they would. They didn't announce there was. Um, so uh, I did notice very quickly that we have the new menu item to save the focus position. That's there. So that's good. And uh, I haven't even tested it out, but I did note that it's on the menu. And likewise, the voice memo options, again, didn't check them out other than to see that they are indeed there. So, <laughs> so that's it. I'm going to go in now. Uh, it's still April and it's getting pretty cold out here. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And you can find uh, more of my videos right over here. Check them out. And if you haven't already, why not uh, subscribe to my channel? Hit that notification bell so you don't miss upcoming content. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. We'll see you later.